short video, we will review what proof point email filtering is and how it affects you. We will also review quarantine email summaries. First, a short description of what email security filtering is. Email filtering is an email security system that mostly works behind the scenes to scan your emails looking for signs of malicious threats, such as phishing and man-in-the-middle emails. It also scans attachments looking for malware or viruses. The filtering will also block a lot of spam and bulk email. All of this is done automatically for you, but sometimes the system is not sure if an email really is spam or a legitimate email message you want to receive. In these situations, instead of blocking the email, the system will put the email into a quarantine and email you a quarantine digest summary once a day or more for you to review. Proofpoint can also provide email encryption capability if your organization is paying for this license. Here is an example of a quarantine digest summary email. You can first see that the title tells you it's these uh, emails are quarantined, um, and then it breaks it up into the address, subject, delivery time, and your actions. Uh, it also gives a timestamp of when this quarantine digest was sent to you. So under address, you can see the sender said they are from Proofpoint. And then this is the email address that it came from. Uh, both of these are going to look a little odd or, or different than a lot of emails because they are bulk email and it's using some uh, service or software to send it in, in big bulk quantities. But it should give you some indication into where it's coming from. Again, you can see proof point right here. On the subject, this is simply the email subject. Delivery time is when the email was received by the email server. And then you have some actions. On actions, you have a preview. So you can preview the email without having to open it, which is great for uh, increased security, but it doesn't show you everything in the email. Um, for example, photos might be missing. You can also release the email. You would want to do this if you are sure that you want to receive this email to your inbox and then it's not a threat. You can also release and approve. This would also release the email to uh, your inbox and then also whitelist it at the same time to not block it in the future. And then there's also the block option. Uh, if you know that you don't want this email, you can simply hit block and it will attempt to block it in the future. The block feature, keep in mind that this is very difficult. Uh, if the email is from a bulk sender. Uh, they have you subscribed and um, it's difficult to block those type of emails. Instead, you would want to release the email, let it be delivered to your inbox, and typically at the bottom you can scroll down and there is a unsubscribe link that you can use. One other item I want to point out is there is a request new digest. These digests are typically sent to you once or multiple times a day, but if you believe that a email that you want to receive has been quarantined, you can open up a previous email message uh, like this one and then just hit request new digest link uh, to get an updated digest report. I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to our support. Or if you need email security filtering uh, set up for your organization, give us a call and be happy to help. Thank you, take care, bye-bye.